Now is the time to be collecting seed. It's late summer, early fall. It's the time to be collecting seed. Like collecting seed of this really cool member of the Asteraceae with these bright pink ass flowers, Vernonia larcini. It's a Chihuahua Desert Vernonia. Nice variation on an ironweed. You can see it's got those uh, those tomentose leaves covered in hairs. You can see it's thriving right there. There's one, there's one. Be great in the garden. Super drought tolerant, just get it established. It'll thrive. Loves the dry heat of Texas. From like central Texas west, this thing would do great. From Austin west, this thing would do fucking great. So I'm collecting seed of it. I'm going to give it to a friend of mine who's got a nursery, and hopefully I'll see more of these in cultivation. Now's the time, okay? Every flower produces a seed that's enclosed in a fruit. In the case, this is a, in this case, it's a single-seeded fruit and a keen if it's been pollinated. If the flower's been pollinated, it's going to produce a, a fruit. So go out there and collect the seeds, collect the fruits, whatever the shit. Get out there, start collecting stuff. Now's the season, all right? You're not going to get another chance for another 10 months, all right? Same thing with this guy, with Delia hispida. Same thing. The seeds are right there. See, so look like little black sunflower seeds. Here's another good one, Aloysia gratisma, a.k.a. white brush. Verbenaceae is the family. It's in the order of sages. You can see those white flowers. Smells incredible, all right? Especially when there's, you know, 15 plants all going off. Each, each one, each plant has, you know, 3,000 flowers on it. it. Smells fucking incredible. It smells like a perfume lights up the air. Those are the fruits. See that? See those things? Those little green things should be ready in another week. They once had flowers. The flowers gone after the flower got pollinated the seeds are inside that little green thing you could just take your hand just pull that way pull them all up pull them all off put them in a little bag and even just throw them around your yard you can grow them in a pot or just throw them around your yard see that those little green things with all those stiff little hairs on them those are the fruits but since they're still green they're not ready yet once they start turning brown they're going to be ready this is a great fucking plant too man god damn it smells so good look at that there's a big one see that aloysia gratissima the white brush Ah, oh, look, you still got a flower going off. Yeah, what a cool plant. Icy blue leaves and then those hot pink flowers. Covered in pollen air. So nice. You plant this shit in your yard, give a little bit of water, get it established. Your yard's covered in cool butterflies, bees. Whatever. I got to get that areogonum too, that buckwheat. You see it's still flowering, so the seeds aren't going to be ready yet. I'll come back in two or three weeks. Hopefully the seeds will be ready. Tons of good shit. I carry these little baggies with me. Gets the cops horny too, which is always funny to see. They get all excited thinking they got a, you know, a drug bust and it just turns out to be some weird botany stuff. Anyway, no one's growing this stuff, okay? Home Depot's not growing this. You're not going to find this in the shitty big box stores. All the cool native plants, it's up to you to grow, all right? The most places, most states don't have native plant nurseries, all right? The native plant movement's dependent on backyard growers and people figuring it out how to grow shit from seed. Oh, cool. Look at that cool antenna. The leaves on that smell really good, too. Same with this cool Indigophora, Indigophora sofruticosa. There's the fruits right there, little bean pods. It's in the pea family, Fabaceae, the bean family. Those uh, legumes are not ready yet. See, they're still green. They've got to enlarge a little bit more. I'll come back in two weeks and get some. Ah, Colubrina texana with those cool divaricating branches. And that zigzag branching. I didn't know it grew this far west into the desert. Oh, cool. Look at the walking stick. See that? See that guy? Look at the walking stick. You see him? I see you, buddy. You're not fooling me. Fucking cool. How's that for mimicry? This isn't putting out fruit now. This this I collected fruit off this guy. They look like they call it hog plum. They look like little apples. I collected that probably, I don't know, early summer. I don't know, it came this far west. So it's start, you know, the continent's kind of starting to dry out this far west. Right near Sanderson. Look at those. Look at that. Cool. Now anyway, you can't get this, you're not gonna get that at home desk, but you gotta grow it yourself. Hook up with people that do. Oh, there's quote unquote mountain laurel in its native habitat. Thermatophyllum, the bright red uh, little bean seeds. Yeah, there's this buckwheat. Now these, there might be seed in these. See, these are old flowers. There's not going to be seed in the flowers that are still white, that are still uh, the tissue still alive. There might be seed in these though. This is a cool buckwheat. Look at that. Look at that little rosette down there. Oh, that's cool. A little rosette of chalky mint green leaves covered in hairs. Yeah, that seed's not ready yet. The seeds will be in there. Another single seeded fruit in there. Tiny, but a cool plant worth growing. Not many people are. Oh, there we go. Success. There's some good fruits on that, the Indigofera. 
Another legume. See, it looks like a little bean. These are brown. They're crispy. They're ready to go. I'm going to take them. They got tiny seeds inside. Nobody's growing this shit. At the same time, the habitat's getting destroyed, getting bulldozed. It's up to you to grow it. Go out there, figure out how it produces seed, when it produces seed. Look at the flower. Keep in mind, if it's flowering, it's going to be fruiting and producing seed later. Go out there and get it. Okay, Home Depot's not growing this shit. Home Depot only sells the tacky shit. Those big growers, they all sell the tacky shit, and they're all the same clone, all the same cultivar. It's fucking garbage. Come out here and grow this stuff. This stuff is what the cool animals and insects evolved with. Right? You're not going to see walking sticks in a yard full of shitty oleander and boxwoods. You're going to see it in this. All right, come grow this shit, get the seeds, figure out what you're looking at, when to get seeds, etc. Okay, it varies. Now, generally, it's generally safe to say early fall is good. But it's different for every region, every every plant, okay? But generally, early fall, late summer is good. Ooh, look at this, uh, this butylon. Definitely want to come get seed of that. Anyway, that's all I got. Have a great day. Go fuck yourself. Bye. Yeah, just collecting some cuttings of salvia white house yay. Normally, you'd find the seeds inside those little brown calices, but they're all gone. So, I think I found like two or three seeds. This is a great fucking plant though, it needs to be in cultivation more. The ones here are not very tall. See, is that one? No, that's Savalia. See, there's one right there. They don't get very tall. In cultivation, I'm sure they could probably get two feet. Moth pollinator, really cool violet elongated tube flowers for moth pollination. A moth pollinated sage, fucking cool. Now, we're in the leucophyllum protestant zone now. Leucophyllum minus tapered off a little bit west of here. We're east of Sanderson and we're in a Leucophyllum protestans arena. And that might be, that it might even be Dacillerian Texanum now. I don't know. Got to get this sage into cultivation. I'll just, you know, I'll probably, probably dip it in rooting hormone, take the two, bottom two inches of leaves off, put it in like 70% pumice, maybe a little bit more pumice in a humidity tent and uh, should, should, pop out roots pretty quick i'm using so much pumice because look how hairy those leaves are they'll rot so easily all that extra humidity they'll rot very easily see there's the final step take them put them in a bag okay got to be 100 percent humidity because they don't have any roots put them in a cooler so they don't uh you know keep a uh, slow down their metabolism so they're not transpiring too much moisture put them in a bag <laughs> oh shit this is cool evidently the moths are doing a lot of a lot of the pollinating out here in the desert. There's a moth pollinated flower. It's a long tube flower. It's emanating that uh, moth pollinated flower scent. Very perfumey, very pungent. This is Menadora longiflora. It's a woody shrub. There's some down there. There's a bonsai one up there growing on the limestone. I just came out here to collect salvia white house eye cuttings, and I always get distracted looking at all the other cool shit. Salvia white house eye, of course, is a uh, moth pollinated. I saw a moth pollinated evening primrose. Well, most of the evening primrose are uh, moth pollinated. There's a cool Amsonia that's moth pollinated too. All converging, despite being not that closely related, on the same floral traits of a long tube flower and that same smell. Menadora, of course, only has two stamens. I cut the flower open, you can see one stamen there, the other stamen there. And that's a, that's a synapomorphy for much of the olive family and the ash tree family, which this is in. You look at olive flowers, two stamens. Oleaceae, order is Lamiales. That's cool, man. It smells very pleasant. This is kind of a narrow endemic. Only occurs in West Texas, maybe parts of northern New Mexico, northern Chihuahua, etc. Anyway, that's all I got. Have a good rest of your day. Go fuck yourself. Bye. There's more salvia white house. See, I see they can get kind of big. Here's that Menadora longiflora. See the last year's fruits are still on there. Maybe, maybe the earlier season's fruits. I'm gonna have to come back and get more seed of this because they they're not ready. They should be ready. I don't know. Maybe a, a month. Maybe two weeks. To check this out. This one's cool. Almost looks like some damn Goody Aresia or Solidago relative. Nice piece of coyote shit on it to kill you. In essence, this is Haploestes gregii. Really cool member of the marigold tribe of Asteraceae. Look at those flowers. Rubbery. Rubbery and somewhat succulent. Does the foliage smell? If it's a marigold, it should. Yeah, it kind of stinks. A lot of the members of the marigold tribe have uh, pretty pungent uh, 
volatiles, resins. Got almost opposite, oh, they are opposite leaves. Opposite leaves and a single series of uh, phyleries. Really distinct, yeah, I thought it was a Goody Reezy when I rolled up, then I looked closer, I'm like, oh shit, this ain't a Goody Reezy, look at it. Look at how those phyleries are like, uh, looking like little teeth, little yellow teeth. All right, I gotta get the fuck out of here. I got a lot of driving to do. Now I really mean it. Haplo SD's Greg, hey everybody, look at that cool little marigold in West Texas. So many fucking cool plants out here. Again, nice piece of coyote shit. What was he eating? That looks like some seeds. Anyway, that's all I got. Have a great day. Go fuck yourself. Bye.